hi beautiful people of the most high god so i just want to tell you about the month of abib about the passover of the lord and that you all should be keeping it and not pagan easter because you are supposed to observe the path the uh, month of abib because it's the passover of god it's the month where god brought the children of israel out of egypt by night and the month of Abib starts on the 14th day of April. So the month of Abib is April. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover of the Lord. That's April. So it starts on April 14th. The first month of the Jewish, the, 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 the ecclesiastical year corresponding nearly to the Gregorian April. After the Babylonish captivity, this month was called Nisan. So after the Babylonian corruption, they started to call Abib, the month of Abib, Nisan. All right. So how do you keep the Passover? What do you eat on the Passover? How long is the Passover? Well, God tells you all of that in his word. And there's many times where you'll see the children of Israel keeping the Passover. So we're going to get into it. Exodus 12 and 18. In the first month, which is a bit, April. So according to God, his first month is April. The month of a bib. I shared that to you in my video where I said these people's new year. When I was talking about January, I'm like this people's new year. But God's new year, when the new year starts, is in April. A bib. I said that in my video. Um, Exodus 12 and 18. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month, at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twenty day, the the 20th day of the month at evening. So the 21st day. So you keep the, the Passover from April 14th till April 21st. Not how the fake Jews keep it. And not the fake food that they eat either. We'll tell you how this is supposed to be kept from the Father. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your house. So you're not supposed to have any bread with yeast in your house. For whosoever eats that which is leaven, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel. Whether he be a stranger or born in the land. You shouldn't be eating no bun and cheese. Ye shall eat nothing leaven in all your habitations, but you shall eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw also and take ye a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. So what other food can you eat? How, what is the diet for the Passover? And what are you supposed to do at the Passover? On the 14th day of the second month that evening, they shall keep it and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Your food is supposed to be roasted by fire. Okay? it's supposed Your food is supposed to be roasted by fire for, for the month of Abib, for when you eat the Passover of God. So it tells us that in Exodus 12 and 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. You fast through the day. And roast with fire, eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. So from May, April 14th to 21st, you should have a grill. You should be putting food on the grill. It's supposed to be roasted by fire. Not abominable food. If you have chicken, things that you're allowed to eat, beef. Not pork. Pork is an abomination. You are not allowed to eat pork. All right. Even lamb. You can do that. Eat not of it raw nor sudden at all with water, but roast with fire. So you know how you cook on the stove and you would saute. It's not supposed. This food needs to be roasted by fire because you're eating the food of the Lord for one re Remember, God is a consuming fire. So this week of the pa the week of the Passover, all your food needs to be roasted on a grill. And you need to be fasting. You do that in the you eat in the evening. Eat not of it raw nor sudden at all with water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs and with the 
pertinence thereof, you shall eat and you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. So no leftovers and that which remains of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. So no food is supposed to be left over when you eat every evening. You should make what's sufficient for you and your house. So you could even make steak and um a part of unleavened bread is Torilia bread is unleavened bread. There's no yeast in it. Um, flat bread. You could even make your own Passover bread. All right. So these things you can eat for the Passover. Meat that is on the grill and bitter herbs, lettuce. And you can eat salads, bitter herbs. And it, it's supposed to be like that for one week. And thus shall you eat it with your loins gritted, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Because when the children of Israel were taken out of Egypt, they had to eat in haste. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. So you shouldn't be keeping the Easter holiday. It's a pagan holiday. And you don't know if this is going to be the Passover that God executes his judgment and pass through man and beast and goes against all the gods of in the earth. All right. So I just want you to know that. And the blood which shall be for a token upon the houses. Well, we use the blood of Christ now. You don't have to do a sacrifice of what the children of Israel did in other times where they slayed a lamb. Christ is the sacrificial, the sacrificial lamb, so we don't have to slay it. But you need to plead the blood of Christ over your house. And when... Okay, and this day shall be unto you for a memor memorial, and you shall keep it. A feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day shall you put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. So you shouldn't be eating leavened bread in the Passover. And the first day thereof shall be a holy convocation. So the first day of Passover, the 14th is a holy convocation. And in the seventh day, there shall be a holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. So on the seventh day of Passover, no work shall be done. Just that you eat, you cook what you're supposed to grill and eat. And you shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread, for it is the selfsame day that I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall you observe this day in all your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twenty-first day of the month at evening. So, seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses, for whosoever eats that which is leaven, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. So I I hope that you keep the, the Passover. God does so much great things for you when you keep the Passover. He teaches you um, because you're in fasting from the morning to the evening until you're done grilling your food and eating. He um, uncovers mysteries of his word to you. Um, it's even a time he'll speak to you. Um, it's just beautiful. The Passover is so beautiful going into the new year, keeping the Passover of God. It is blessed. It, you will come out so blessed. You'll come out with more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and God will increase even your, your, your gifts and your, you know, your prosperity. And it's just, and, and in the time we are right now, where he said revelations, restoration, reconciliation, and recompense, um, I think it'd be a wise thing for you to keep the Passover and to not worship any pagan holidays. 
especially Easter. And if you don't know about Easter, please, there's so much videos on YouTube of people who made them. And you can just do your own research and read about Easter. That has nothing to do with the Most High God. Um, it has everything to do with idols. So please, people of God, and you could look up what bitter herbs consist of. You can eat salads. You know, there's lots of things you can eat. You can make a steak wrap with flatbread and, and lettuce. You can do that for Passover. You can eat crackers that have no yeast in them. There's just many things like you can do for Passover. You're going to eat in haste with your shoes on. So you're grilling outside. And you know what? I've done it with my son and we both came out with so much knowledge, wisdom, understanding and discernment from God. And he spoke to us so much and he taught us so much every time we keep the Passover. So it's a blessing to keep the Passover and it's crucial in the time that we're in. And honestly, my favorite holiday is the Passover. Well, holy day. They call it holidays. This is a holy day. Remember, holy convocation. My favorite time of the year is the Passover um, because just so much good come with it and you're always in the presence of God. So I hope this helped you and you can take this up with fasting and, you know, maybe it'll prepare you in the time before the Passover to get all the things that you need. Take care, stay blessed, and please ask God concerning his Passover. And read about it. Read about it in the Bible. Read about it. In um, Exodus chapter 12, and it's in a lot of places, um, in the first month where it talks about the children of Israel, Ezra 6 and 19, and the children of the captivity kept the Passover upon the 14th day of the mo of the first month. And it's in Numbers, it's in Leviticus, it's in Ezekiel. In the first month, in the 14th day of the month, you shall have the Passover and the, the feast of seven days. Unleavened bread shall, shall be eaten. So, and you eat unleavened bread and not eat bread with yeast. Take care, stay blessed.